So imagine that I'm having R1 router and R2 router. We are studying LSA types in OSPF. LSA expands to link state advertisement. Okay. We'll start with type one LSA. Type one LSA name pathing na is termed as router LSA. Okay. So imagine that I have enabled OSPF in R1 and R2. Okay. So router LSA is generated by each router one per link. Okay. Which means this will carry this interface IP here. It is called router LSA, LSA. And this link also will going inside here, type one router LSA. So this R1 will generate one router LSA, R2 will generate one router LSA. So totally in this link, how many LSAs we have? Type one, two type one LSAs we have. What if I tell we have one more router in that case? How many we'll have? Three. Each router generates router LSA, one per link. How much is it? Generated by routers, one per link. And these LSAs scope are within one area only. With this LSA, my IPs cannot go beyond area zero or area one or whichever area I'm generating it. The scope is within the area, okay? So if you have three routers, there will be three router LSA. What if you have 10 routers then? 10 router LSAs. Now talking about the next LSA, which is type two LSA. Here, DR router generates type two LSA. In simple term, I can tell. Here, I am going to have how many DR router? Two, because I'm having two networks. R one to R two one DR router and R two R three one DR router. So if I'm three, if I'm having two DR routers. How many type two LSA will be there? One DR generates one type one LSA, type two LSAs. There will be for this link, maybe he is a DR. For this link, maybe he is a DR. So he will generate one type two LSAs, which has the entire link information in this. Ademari, he will generate one more type two LSAs, which has the entire link information in this bucket. In that case, how many? Type two, we are having two. So if I have 10 DRs in that case, 10 type two LSA. But the problem is scope. Scope is within that area only. Even with type two, I cannot go beyond my area. If it is under area zero, it will be area zero only. If it is under area one, it will be area one only. So we cannot go beyond my area with type two LSA also. So type one LSA scope on, within area da, type 2 LSA scope mo, within the area da. In that case, only your type 3 comes. Imagine that I'm having one area here, one area here. Within the area 0, it is area 1. Now here, in this area 0, can you tell me, I will have how many type 1 LSAs? We have 1, 2, 3 routers. There will be Three type one LSAs. He is also part of area one, right? Area zero also. So how many links are there? Two links are there. So how many type two LSAs? Two type two LSAs. So these LSA scope is within the area, which means area one routers they cannot reach these guys using type one or type two. Panna mudiyadu. Apena panna mana the area router, area border router will collect all this information, which means type one plus type two, it will convert them into type three. And that type three will go to area one. In similar way, from this place, type one and type two will be converted as type three, will go to area zero. Understood? Who generates it type three, but here, ABR generates type three. AVR router generates type 3 LSAs. Now I answer my question. Imagine I have one more router here. It is my area. It is my area 2. Can I call it as ABR router? We cannot call it as ABR router because ABR router connects area 0 to other area. Here we are connecting area 1, area 2. So he is not ABR router. In that case, can he collect Type 1, type 2 from here, 
can he convert them to type 3 is it possible no so can i can these people reach these guys at any cost no which means reachability will not be there adanaladha there is a condition in ospf saying all the backbone area should have that connectivity with the non backbone areas sorry all the non backbone areas will should have direct connectivity with the backbone areas appo da abr irukku abr undha da exchange nadakum exchange nadandha da useful a irukum clear points 